tonight. Doing good. There we go. Yeah, All right. Let's begin with the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, <coughs> to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We welcome everybody to the uh, February 5th Marion County Commission meeting. This is the first official meeting with our new county administrator. So we welcome Tina Spencer in that new position. And we also welcome our new county clerk, Ashley. Perfect. So congratulations and welcome. Thank you. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we begin with a public forum. I uh, don't see any members of the public in the room, and we have a B online. Would B like to make comments? Okay, no public comments. Uh, move into agenda approval. Uh, any additions to the agenda? If not, the agenda will stand approved, and we move into administrative business. Okay, in your uh, packet, you do not have the minutes. It's, they're actually on the table, the minutes from January 31st. Okay, we'll take a moment to review. had a chance to review the minutes. Motion to approve um, the regular meeting. Okay. So we have a motion to approve minutes of the regular meeting on January 31st by Commissioner Gehring. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Balke. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried 5-0. Now do we have a motion to approve the canvas on January 31st? Make that motion. Okay, Commissioner Clifford. Or second. Okay. Commissioner Becker. Any changes, corrections? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Say nay. Abstain. One abstain. So four in favor, one abstain. I just wanted to give you some information. That, <coughs> um, the project at Kansa Road, the concrete project that we did. Um, actually is winning an award for uh, it's the Missouri Kansas chapter AC ACPA and it is um, it's a paving award because of the that project and so there is uh, it's called excellence in paving so we're going to be receiving that award there's a conference that is I believe in Missouri in Kansas City if anybody wants to go to it but regardless, we'll get a, a plaque, the engineer's getting a plaque, and the contractor will get a plaque. So, just thought I'd let you know. So, uh, it's a winner of our county roads category. So, here's information on that if anybody wants to look at it. Okay. You can, we can put it in the mail thing and you can look at it. Um, also wanted to remind everyone that the conditional use permit for um, the health department building project is going before the city council today. Uh, it's the eighth item on the agenda over there. So just letting you know. At four o'clock. 
Uh, I think their meeting starts at 4.30, and then our, our item is number 8. It'll be executive session before our administrator. Okay. You did have um, early checks in your packet. The commission had a chance to review the early checks. I didn't see any conflicts. No conflicts. <coughs> A motion by Commissioner Gehring to approve early checks in the amount of ten thousand seven hundred fifteen dollars eighteen cents. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Becker. Any questions? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion carried five zero. Hook your toes around the carpet. <laughs> well, Commissioner Mueller, I forgot to send the minutes down for you to sign. And I didn't get your signature last week either, so you've got three okay. spots there to sign. Next thing headed your way are a couple of salary sheets. Right. In the county clerk's office, change from administrative specialist two to elections, oh, in elections to deputy clerk elections. Michelle Looper, change from 2,971 per month to 3,347, effective February 1st. Congratulations. And legal counsel. <laughs> That's a little a lot higher increase, I think. Right. <laughs> In the county treasurer's office, new administrative specialist one, Rebecca Mowat, uh, 2,541 per month, effective February 1st. Welcome aboard.
We had a Burn City Council member contact um, us last week, and the Idea Tech is looking at um, expanding broadband into um, Butler and Marion counties, including Burns, Elbing, and Whitewater. And so, I on the table, you have a letter of support for that grant. I would, if nobody has any problems with it, I'd like to open to that we give them our blessing to form a letter and like we have here and present it to them so they can send it with their application for that with Idea Tech. So, okay. There's a second. Okay. Uh, motion by Commissioner uh, Dalkey, second by Commissioner Gehring to uh, send a letter of support for Idea Tech's Broadband Acceleration Grant application. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Mm -hmm. Motion carried 5-0. Deals, it's yeah. Let's <laughs> make a paper airplane. In your packet, oops, I forgot to get the resolution number. You have a resolution for the uh, Rural Opportunity Zone for participating for the current year. And I'll need to get that resolution number for you. I think it's three. <coughs> Four. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll just make sure. I thought we went through three. Okay. There's like two right away, and then there's one. Okay. They're normal. Every year we got Discussion on the Rural Opportunity Zone? Uh, it's still pertinent? With, well, we, I with think the, with the loan so for It will be program. Resolution 2024-05. Five? Yep. We have two, <coughs> two disaster declaration ones. All right. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Becker had a question whether it was still pertinent with uh, loan forgiveness in Washington, D.C. I think there's still plenty of other loans out there. Um, we still only spend 15000 a year, correct? No, 4500 a year. Oh, 4500 We pay, okay. pay 1500 for three different participants. Okay, 1500 yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's that's all we spend per year. Yes. Yeah. That's what's okay. that's what you have budgeted. Right. Okay. So there's a cap of forty five hundred. Uh, I was interested in, in seeing the uh, names of people that still might be around that's that's taking advantage of it in our county and seeing. So and that's all handled through uh, the state. Yeah. Any other discussion? If not, I'd move to uh, approve resolution 2024-5, um, authorizing participation in the Rural Opportunities on Student Payment Repayment Program. Second by Commissioner Gehring. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion carried 5-0. Signature page around.
We do have change orders. It's not as thick. It's somewhat thick. <laughs>
covered so bad. Uh, this morning, Sharon Olmstead sent me the approved um, grant application for the LEPP grant. Um, this is the actual formal paperwork, and all of these tabs are where Commission Chairman needs to sign. <laughs> so <laughs> you've already approved this grant. Um, it's just an administrative thing to get your signature on those. <coughs> signatures okay They're sticking out thank you so um i it's time for review of the county inventory mm -hmm. so that inventory was submitted to the county clerk's office and now it's in the hands of the commission uh, the law says that during the month of February, the commission is to go and check out the inventory. So all of the department inventory has been given to you. You can review it. If uh, You're welcome to stop into any departments and uh, ask to see any of the items on that inventory list. And then at the end of February, uh, the commission is charged with uh, accepting the inventory and proving it. So anyway, just letting you know. Any questions at this point? Okay. Uh, we did have communication from the insurance company about the um, walking floor trailer that caught fire. Um, they're looking at um, a $49,061 claim. Um, just wanted to make sure that com the commission's on board with that offer and we don't need to send that to any legal team or anything. Questions, discussion. Do they take the trailer back away or do they to keep that? <laughs> I, I don't know the answer. Do they any parts on it? You have to buy it back. Okay. But you might buy it back for a bucks so they don't have to deal with it. <coughs> uh, any discussion on the it's half price of new one it uh, yeah so we paid 62,000 for it yeah, okay um, there were some comparables <coughs> for similar uh, years um, of used trailers and then of course a new is a lot more expensive but they they went by what we paid and then what current value is on some used similar models right so I move that we accept it. Fair price. Okay. We have a motion to accept the, the second. settlement. Second, second by uh, motion by Commissioner Crowfoot, second by Commissioner Gehring. To accept the settlement. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried 5-0. in the process of trying to plan um, actors, active shooter training uh, for county employees. Uh, again, it's been a few years since we've had it. That does require um, the closure of the courthouse 
to be able to do the drills and everything here. Um, so Marcy is looking at scheduling that. We're looking at the month of April. Um, do you, are you, is the commission comfortable with us looking for a date that works for district court and doing a, a closure of the courthouse on the, during the time that we're doing that training? Are you looking at an hour, two hours, or half a day? Or uh, it's probably at least half a day because there, we want everybody to be able to participate. There is um, generally there's classroom time, and then uh, the drills are in are later. So I think last time we may have closed the whole day. Uh, it also involves then after the training, what what they did last time is they came around to each office and discussed, you know. Uh, they looked at the layout and discussed options of, you know, what's the best plan for safety and things like that. So it, it's probably a, a whole day. And if, it, if it's most of a day, I have a civil rights training or something else that we can fill in the rest of the day. Because <laughs> so, we're going to need to take some, some of those kind of trainings also. Questions? Is there any opposition? It's a layout. What's what's going to happen? Take a date so we know. Okay. I'll work with the um, district court first of all to make sure that we aren't conflicting with anything mm -hmm. they're doing, and then we'll get a date scheduled. I'll let you all know, and we'll publicize that closure. And commissioners are welcome to attend that and participate also. Is there any holidays that uh, they they get that we don't get that day? No, in April. No. Just wonder if we. <laughs> at the end of the month where the you got the 29th and 30th right and that's that, what I was so if we had our end of the month on the 29th on Monday and then 30th close. because district courts always on Mondays too mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah well we'll look at it and get back I just want to make sure the commission was comfortable with us doing that and closing very good all right, I believe that's all I have for administrative. The only thing I saw in the yellow folder was there's an invitation to the soil conservation dinner. Uh, if we have three commissioners going, uh, do you attend, plan to attend? Does anyone else plan? Okay, well then we don't need to do a notice. Are you taking care of your, your own RSVP? Okay. All right, if that's the end of administrative. Tina, we're ready for your report. Oh. I know that threw me for just one second. <laughs> 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 um, well, I'm not completely sure what you um, expect or hope to hear when I come each time since this is my first mm -hmm. uh, uh, scheduled report. Um, so I thought maybe I'd just tell you a little bit about what's going on in our office right now. Perfect. Okay, great. So um, one of the First things that we're um, kind of have just finished doing um, by January 23rd, we were able to get our distribution done. Um, and so that was good. We um, distributed current ad valorem funds um, to our entities on January 23rd, and the total distribution was just over 15.7 million, um, with about 7.8 million in, in checks and ACH payments to our entities. So that went well. Um, we uh, have a new employee. I know the last time we talked, we were trying to get a full staff, and we are now fully staffed. We're excited. Um, our new employee, uh, Becky Moat, is from Ramona. Um, so we have six full-time positions filled. Um, we have one part-time employee who is um, helping us while we get people trained and also helping fill in when someone is sick or on vacation. Um, we also have a work-study student who has started, and she's helping in our office from 9.45 to... 20 each day. Um, she's great. Um, so uh, we're all kind of learning new positions. Every one of us is learning new positions and um, although it takes about six months to a year to fully train an employee, they are all working really hard to gain knowledge and, and skills. So um, it's coming along really well. Um, we have a couple of new processes. Um, we successfully transitioned from handwriting paid-in receipts to electronic receipting system through um, Patriot Tax. 
um, in conjunction with that, we're automatically transferring tax batches to our financial management system, which it actually drastically minimizes um, input errors from hand keying uh, amounts into the system, which have caused problems uh, at distribution time in the past. Um, so along those same lines, I've actually been speaking with Scott Lloyd and um, our auditors at Varney about streamlining our delinquent tax process. Um, the consensus is that there are changes that can be made to make the system more efficient um, um, without losing information that the auditors need. Um, so we're going to begin to kind of implement some of those changes in February, move away from some of the hand work to more electronic work, um, make it more efficient and also uh, fewer errors, we hope. Um, heavy truck and tra trailer season is now. Uh, January and February are the months when heavy truck and trailer registration renewals are due. Um, it's also time when um, unpaid personal property tax um, that was due by December 20 becomes delinquent and is sent over to the sheriff's office for collection. So the timing uh, somewhat coincides with when the personal property renditions from the appraiser's office are due. So there are a lot of personal property tax questions being asked right now. Uh, my staff is learning the answers really fast and we're getting there. So um, that's what's busy right now. Um, and our KCTA meetings are happening um, February 14 through 16. Um, it's, it's a difficult time of year to get away um, for this meeting during our heavy truck and trailer season, um, along with training new employees. Um, but I have been encouraged by many people to attend if at all possible. <laughs> so um, I will plan to go on February 14th only uh, so that I can meet other treasurers, ask lots of questions, and um, take part in the certification training that's happening. And that's pretty much what's going with us. I know I talked really fast. Do you guys have any questions on? Heavy trucks and trailers, we discussed that not too long ago. What, what is, <coughs> is there still our policy we're not handling some of that? Good question. Heavy trucks and trailers is a little bit different than commercial vehicle work. Yeah. Um, heavy trucks and trailers are any uh, county oh, tag, yeah. yes. Okay. Um, and it is also the time when uh, time of year when commercial vehicles are due to renew. Uh, we are currently not able to renew those here, but we have successfully been able to get all of the people who need renewals renewed. Um, so I, I would be able to connect with either Haskell County or McPherson County get all of our customers where they need to go and answer the questions they needed to to be able to renew them. So as far as I know, there's no commercial vehicle from here in the county right now that still hasn't renewed. Yeah. Yeah. Other questions? Uh, Tina, I know everybody's kind of evolving, but uh, from this point forward, when we have a quarterly update, or how are we going to could you could you include an investment report? Yes, yes, uh, yes. I sure could. I almost brought it with me. I should, I, I will. <laughs> so sorry. It's on your desk. Yes, I really know exactly where it is. I could tell you exactly how we're doing right now. Um, pledging has gone well. Um, that was something I was very nervous about. Um, our local banks are excellent at helping to stay on top of the pledging. Um, as long as we're good communicators, let them know when big deposits are coming. They are great about staying on top of it, and they're good at checking in with us saying, hey, usually about this time of year, you have some bigger deposits, you know, is that going to be the case? And um, so they've been very helpful in staying on top of that. Um, but currently, uh, most of the CDs are earning somewhere between 4 and 5, upper 5% um, interest. Um, most of our bank accounts are anywhere from, I mean, again, normal checking accounts can be as low as point, you know, point 0.10. Um, we have a couple of regular check, well, one regular checking account, one mark, money market account that's 3.25%. <coughs> um, we've got the bulk of our money there, but we need to keep money in the smaller banks as well, make sure that they can continue doing ag loans and things that keep our county going. So, yeah. Be good. But on the list for I will. two reports. <laughs> I will. That's one that, that draws interest. Gotcha. Yeah. Other questions? Yes. Yeah, um, I already talked to you about this, but I thought maybe you could tell the rest of them, they are the tax sale, something that she's mm -hmm. actually got more involvement than I ever knew. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, I started in 2014 here at the county, uh -huh. and that very first year I was in charge of getting all the information together uh -huh. for that tax sale. So, yeah, I've got some pretty good knowledge of the tax sale. Um, right now, we 
in December is when um, Keita Kelly asked for our list for mm -hmm. this, this coming tax sale. We did not get it to her in December. It was kind of chaotic, but I do plan on getting it to her in February. So it's it's I know where to get it. I know how to assemble it. We needed to get through our um, delinquent um, personal property real quick, and then and a whole bunch of change orders. You guys have seen those. <laughs> so once we process those, that's the next on the agenda is getting that list to Kita for the next tax sale. So we'll have one in 24 then? We want to, yeah. We want to make sure she's got everything she needs to, to get that done in 2024. That's great. Get, it was, it was I, I had no idea. And when she said, oh, yeah, when I first started. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, yeah. And one other. I'm not going to slip. Okay. <laughs> yeah. One interesting note about that, too, is that um, we're once we get to doing these every year, it will be just one delinquent tax year. You go three years back mm -hmm. for um, real estate. Um, but this year, the way the timing of the last sell, sale happened, they're actually going to be taking everything 2018 and 2019 tax that's unpaid and going forward. So this one's kind of unique because there will actually be two delinquent years that will be included um, in tax sale properties. But hopefully after this one, it will be a very regular thing. It will be just one tax year going forward. And that was our hope to get finally get caught up oh. in a routine and then it's yeah. not such a burden on your office every year. Yeah, or our customers. I mean, right. it's, it's really unfair to them that they've gotten so many years behind, it's hard to recover. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's great. Great news. Uh, other questions? Uh, good luck with the training of staff. That's Thank always, you. <laughs> like I said, the busiest time of the year, you get those repetitive questions, you get that answer. And we do. They'll learn, learn it well. Fast. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. getting through those first couple challenges. Yeah, they were surprised at how busy it is right now, and I said, well, get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> get used to it. <laughs> right. Yeah, but they can do it. They're, they're excellent. They're, they're doing a great job. That's good. I'm happy to hear you're fully staffed now and going through the training process with everyone. You bet. <laughs> okay, any other questions? If not, Tina, thank you so much for the update. Good luck. Thanks. We appreciate it. <coughs> All right, we have. Uh, it's actually going to be Lloyd. Okay. And I think it might just be Lloyd today. Um, and oh my God, this is here. This discussion is specific to the uh, physical and cyber security of the 1240 commercial building. And so I'm going to ask that you go into executive session to discuss physical and cyber security for 1240 commercial. Uh, how long would we? It looks like 15. Yeah, 15. 15 minutes. Sure. That's enough. That needs to be enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I could talk more. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see with Lloyd. I don't know how we're going to keep it to 15. <coughs> I'm just scratching his head. There. Oh, Sharon, here. You're here. I have a feeling we'll have a second. Okay. All right, we have Sharon, Marcy, and Lloyd. Okay, very good. Uh, and also, um, Kobe Hayes may join online if he's available, so you might include him in the motion. Right. And, and just since this is the first time since we have an administrator, Tina would be included, but not anyone else. Right. Correct. Okay. Um, I move that we recess into executive session in order to discuss physical and cyber, cyber security pursuant to KSA 75-4319B. That would be number 13, matters related to security issues with the commission, Tina, Lloyd, Marcy, uh, Sharon, and possibly Lloyd. Uh, for 15 minutes, I'm sorry, uh, from 1.15 to 1.30. Second. Uh, second by Commissioner Gehring. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion carried 5-0. We'll be back at 1.30. It's fun being here. Yeah. Chris does a good job. You, you got on from Hawaii, didn't you? That was good. I wouldn't say it's the same as being there. You didn't want to talk about it. It's not the same as being there. But the sound was very close. The sound was very good. Well, even, even when I was in Missouri, I was a second or two delayed. I mean, really? When my boat came. We're back on? All right, uh, we are out of executive session, no decisions made. Uh, I do have a, a motion. I would move to approve the purchase of physical and cybersecurity components 
for 1240 Commercial Drive at a cost not to exceed $26,000. Second. Second by Commissioner Gehring. Questions? Discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say aye. <coughs> Motion carried 5-0. Very good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you all for working into that. We appreciate it. Got a lot of work to do now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, right? Be careful. <laughs> Ready next week. Huh? It's ready, yeah. I'll be ready. Well, man, just look at all the progress. Huh? Look at all the progress that you're actually making. That's true. That's, this will be nice. Oh, but, you know, it seems like it's going to be not everybody be ready quite yesterday. understands it, but it's needed. Yes. It's yes. Well, thank, thank you, Lloyd. Thanks a lot. All right. We're ready for our favorite time of the year department head evaluations. Do we have some to start reviewing? This is for you to review their self-evaluations and start performing their evaluations. Okay. So commission was the boss of the department yes. heads during 2023, so this will be your last time to have to do the evaluations. And next year, then I will do them. So we can set the bar really high? Or vice versa. We just rank everybody really high. Tina's the bad guy for not doing all that. You know, available to sit in if you need them to. Or, okay. Um, now, a quick question though: Do yes. you want to do your um, public comments or anything oh, before? Sure. Sure. Mike, did you have exciting. public comments? Oh, I'd say a little something. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to go into executive for again for probably yeah. a couple hours. You have to come in the room so make sure the mic hears you. <laughs> You're far enough, actually. Yeah, that'll work, Mike. I started by I've never been to the building out at the south shop even when we worked for the county. It was pleasant to see four or five of the guys out there servicing one of the motor graders and fix, tidying up some stuff that got tweaked a little during this storm. Two or three of the newest operators was there and we hashed out some stories of their uh, inability to start with and what they've learned. And, Hopefully it'll go smoother from here next time and hope we don't have it anytime soon <laughs> to this extreme. So it's just interesting to see everybody's mood seem to be pretty decent. I thank them all for their efforts. Even if we've got some criticism, you just got to, the guys that really weren't to learn in these conditions to learn how to push snow pretty, you know, just wasn't the best of times. No, most people are still patient. Uh, it was nice to see some sunshine last week. I had a little dust on the road Friday afternoon that didn't last long. <laughs> so I hope everybody is still patient, encourages all employees the best. Most of them tried pretty hard. Some were on an extreme learning curve, and we've got to take that into consideration. Again, I thought the mood was pretty decent out there this morning with visiting with them a little. And got to make the best of it is all we can do. The main thing was come see the new seating arrangement with Tina here. <laughs> yeah, it's a little squishy right now. <laughs> so that's what I had to say. Hope, like I said, maybe the sun will come out sometime. Forecast is more rain this weekend, so I think our woes are long from being over. <laughs> Take care from there. I really want to thank you for the positive. It's yeah. it's so nice to get a positive comment. <laughs> so I, I really appreciate it. Jeremy is one of the newest ones in our area and even though he's running a grader, he's never really pushed no much and watching, evaluating the first one days or two. I think I even talked to Randy a little bit. I said, well, he needs some lessons, but I meant that in a positive mm -hmm. way. <laughs> there was nothing, I mean, if you haven't, I mean, my first time was Don and Raymond Krause, if you would know them by name. I went to everybody's driveway and turned around, and I turned around in Raymond's driveway, but they had cattle another mile, mile and a half north of there, and the next morning when I got back there, I got the pretty much my butt too because I did go a little bit further on down the road. But it takes long to figure out where everybody's got cattle, who needs to get where, the priorities, that's something you don't learn overnight. 
and I know I said like at least four of the operators really had no snow pushing experience whatsoever. So. The last time we had this type of snow was 35 years ago. Yeah. 79 and 80. Yeah, 40 years. Um, and Some were saying it's 78 and 9, but so that argument is still viable. I mentioned that or talked to some of the younger guys about the snow. Well, they weren't born yet. Well, that's the same thing I come up with. Yeah. Half of them have no clue that, or remember. Yeah. Yeah, They'll remember here. this. But I know the D6 that we still have, and that plow is still out the shop. When it was out east of Lincolnville, I even helped run it a couple hours. Uh, Gary Lovell, one of the main ones that ran it, and him and a couple other guys was just a comfort cover, open uh, or several miles back then because the only thing that would bust through it, and that kept freezing back or blowing back shut. They created a lot of hardships for everybody that winter. And I think they had to pay, if everybody took their comp time, there wouldn't have been anybody <coughs> available for the rest of the summer, so I know that was one of the first times that they paid everybody's overtime in order to have any help that summer. They could take a certain amount of their comp time, but they pretty much paid them and had them still. Otherwise, they could have just been off work the rest of the summer, I think. It was that many hours involved. So again, would we like to see more dedication to the project? You know, we, efficiency, yes, but I don't know how, in, how we're going to make that happen anytime soon either. I know I've been thanked a lot. The best was a quart of homemade chicken noodle soup that they brought out in a bowl <laughs> jar and some crackers. That hit the spot one afternoon when we were out. <laughs> so it's the little things that make the world go around. Go from there. Again, I hope everybody does thank them because it was a big effort, even though some were very agitated. I think the last deal was the what? 60th road with us in Harvey County or Marion County <laughs> just last week with, yeah. with the vehicle. Learning experience. Well, even though all the good intentions was there, somebody was kind of unhappy about yeah. things. <laughs> but I think it got fixed, I mean, hope so. Yep. Okay. Here, yes, Mike, thank you for the positive comments. The guys did do a lot of work. Well, the majority did excellent. <laughs> Would that be? <laughs> Watch out behind you. For, there's that credenza over on your right. There you go. You got it. <laughs> All right. Um, how much time would you recommend dedicating? Are we done with comments? Okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, hard talk. Just want to thank everybody for their prayers and cards, spoken words. Uh, Ginger and I are dealing with something we never had thought we'd have to deal with, but we have a big void in our life, but uh, in our faith carries us, and we know where our son's at, so it brings us a lot of peace, but I just want to publicly say thank you. Kent, our, our thoughts and prayers are with you and, and Ginger. It's just, there's really, can't find the words. But there's a lot of whole community of support. We've had lots and lots and lots of people at the ham. Very good. Appreciate it. Okay. All right, um, Tina, how much? Uh, maybe start with an hour and then okay. see how you're doing. See how we're doing? That's All right. right. Or even an hour and 20 minutes. I mean, whatever you think. Okay. Let's start with an hour. Are we going to be called in individually? No. There, nobody. This is, there won't be anybody else joining. This is just the prep work. Yeah. All right. And I don't anticipate any formal actions after, after this point. It'd just be the review. So I move that we recess to executive session in order to discuss department head evaluations pursuant to KSA 75-4319B, item 1, personal matters, not elected personnel performance with the commission and TINA for one hour, let's say 141 to 241. Sorry.
Second by Commissioner Dalkey. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. We will be back at 240. Alexa, tell them a joke. So it's not been, oh, now it is. I was having trouble getting the microphone green the last couple times. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're ready? Yep. Uh, we are out of executive session. No decisions made. We would like to continue uh, department head reviews. So um, I move that we recess to executive session in order to, con to discuss department head evaluations pursuant to KSA 75-4319B. Item 1, personnel matters, non-elected personnel performance with the Commission and Tina for one hour from until 345. Sure. Um, uh, second by Commissioner Gehring. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion carried. We will be back at 345. Mm -hmm. All right, we are out of executive session. No decisions made. Uh, just want to appreciate the commission and Tina working through um, department head evaluations. We still have a ways to go, but we'll get there. It's been a good, good discussion. I really appreciate appreciate the people that are out there working for us. Any closing comments? Yeah, I have an item that you give me the task of working with Mr. Smith over there in the storage sheds. Oh, yes. And uh, I think Tina provided uh, uh, what had been done before on our last week, I believe. Wasn't that last week? I think he provided the information. And so uh, I guess I'm just back to ask the commission. They've, they've seen that we did vote to not do it if they, if they didn't not give them if they didn't get it before they started. Oh, you're talking about on neighborhood revitalization. Neighborhood revitalization. Sorry, Sorry, asking. Yeah, Mr. Sure. Smith over there. And so, mm -hmm. and so uh, I'm just coming back to get a feeling for is that the final answer? Uh, you know, like I said, it, the only problem with this whole situation with Mr. Smith in there is he'd done it three times, two or three times before, and didn't do it the fourth time. Is that our fault, or is that the? It's not the. Uh, to me, I was, I was, I didn't know that until afterwards. But uh, my question being, if they don't get it the first time, if they don't get it on their packet information in a city or something like that, that's. I, I don't think my vote was to, or motion was to do that. I maybe not included it, but, but anyway, um, this this gentleman, I think, would like to know where we're going with it. And so, do you want to put it on the agenda for next week? So he was late getting the information in. He, he yeah he, did. he dropped the ball yeah he he'd done it three times and then and how much he spaced it it about? I don't know f f I don't know dollars or cents it's just a simple form of process whether whether we accept it or not accept it it's a lot of, a lot of backlog though huh? a lot of backlog to go into it right there's going to be there's a lot of work that people have to do in order to make that one correction right not for this year not not on that it, it wouldn't be that much it's just Matter, but it's matter that he didn't do it, and then come back after ninety percent is done or ninety five percent. The first call that I got after Joan had told him to call me. So uh, it would be great if we could maybe put that on the twentieth instead of on the twelfth. Okay. So give us some time to make progress on the specifics and okay. you know have some information. I think that's where we left it at the meeting with him is that it was going to take about a month to gather the information. Okay. Uh, so and at that time we would have. Not only in information on his particular case, but then have a broader discussion about the program itself. Okay. Okay. So let's. If you would like to tell him, we'll try to get on the agenda the 20th. That answers my question. Lawn has a fireplace. Okay. Any other closing comments? If not, I move to adjourn. Second. Second by Commissioner <laughs> Gary. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion carried 5 0. Our next meeting is Monday the 12th at 1230. Randy, I'm going to do my meeting remotely tomorrow. Are you? Okay.